man sets apart from the rest of the animal kingdom in his ability to speak, he's called the speaking animal. And it is grammar which makes the language essentially a human characteristic. Hello and welcome to Miracle English Language and Literature Institute. I'm Professor Abha Sharma and I'm doing videos on linguistics. I've already completed the general introduction and phonetics. Today, I'm going to take up morphology, another section of linguistics. Morphology, the study of the words. Morphology, how do you write the word formation, the symbols in the written form. Phonemes and phonetics, symbols when you speak. And here, how you write the written form. What is a word? Word is which comes between two spaces while writing. And it is the minimal unit of speech while writing or speaking. It can be further divided. And the smallest unit which can be written is called morpheme. As I told you in my first lecture that the minimal uh, unit of speech is called phoneme and the smallest unit which you can write is called morpheme. But it may or may not mean anything. And word is something which has a proper meaning. So the study of these words is called morphology or morphemics. For example, there is a sentence, Jack's father was eating his dinner very quickly. So you can divide it into many words. There are words like Jack's one word, father another word is eating his dinner very quickly. But then it has more morphemes than words. Like Jack's, Jack plus S, father, you cannot divide father, fat her, no. Then was cannot be divided, eating of course, eat plus ing because eat means something and ing is a suffix. His, no, dinner, of course, it's just one word, very one, quickly. Quickly has two morphemes, quick plus lee. L-Y is acting as a suffix here. So Jack's father was eating his dinner very quickly. Uh, you can divide it into words and then into morphemes. We can further divide uh, the words into two classes. First, bound or helper morpheme. Now, bound, bound means restricted. Helper means it may help, but it doesn't have any meaning of its own. For example, all the prefixes and the suffixes. Like we did Jack's father who's eating his dinner. So eating has ing quickly, ly, ing, ly, s, ed, id. All these things, they do not mean anything separately unless they are combined with some kind of word. So they do help but they are not independent. The other kind of morpheme is free morphemes or cementemes. So free morphemes means when we said that he is eating his dinner. Eating. Eating. Eat is the free morpheme and ing is the bound or helper morpheme. So eat of course can mean on its own. It has a meaning. It is independent. Whereas ing or ed or ly, they are bound or helper morphemes. So free morphemes can be of many types. They can be bound plus free or free plus bound. Eating is free plus bound because eat comes before ing. When you have bound plus free, in the word uneasy. 
Un doesn't mean anything on its own until and unless it will combine with the word. And easy, of course, has a meaning of its own. Free morphemes or cement teams can be further divided into three classes. Uh, one is simple morpheme, second is complex morpheme, and the third is compound morpheme. So, the first one simple is just one word. Table, camera, book, just one word. That is simple because it does have a meaning of its own. The second one is complex. Complex, as I told you, dancing, eating, player, uneasy. It has, complex has one bound and one free or free bound. Anyway, the compound free morphemes can be of many types like uh, two free morphemes, timetable, mother tongue, three free morphemes, mother-in-law, father-in-law, two free and one bound tax collector. You understand tax one, collector, collect two and er is a complex one, the bound one. So it's the free plus the complex one, tax collector. The bound morphemes, they do not make words on their own, but they help to add in a word. And sometimes they just add as suffixes or prefixes. And when they add as suffixes, they're also known as inflection suffixes. And uh, these suffixes, when they're added, they tell you about the number that is singular or plural or tense, whether past or uh, progressive. Or they even tell you the possessive and the comparative fast faster fastest so only the suffixes are being added in it uh, in the comparative form possessive jacks johns the apostrophe s of course you know about the tenses when it tells you the progressive ing form or ed uh, for the past tense and uh, of course singular or plural Berry, berries, cherry, cherries, apple, apples. This way, uh, the inflection suffixes, uh, morphemes, they help to in, uh, add in the word. Then we can take up derivational morphemes, which are made by the derivational suffixes. In these, the class can be maintained, the class of the word, or the class of the word is changed. Now let's talk about the derivational uh, prefixes and suffixes. They may maintain the class and they may change the class. So class maintaining are called boyhood. They make a noun from a noun, boyhood. Boyhood is again in a similar manner. But class changing is when you totally change the meaning of the words like active and activist. Activist. The affixes are used here. Um, active is totally different and activist, of course, very different. There are derivational prefixes also, like when you use honest and then dishonest. So this is maintaining the class, but then just adding more to the word honest in the negative sense. Similarly, just unjust. So this way we have derivational prefixes as we have derivational suffixes. Another example which changes the class completely is scholarship. Scholarship. Scholar is different. Ship is another word but when they join together they completely change the class of the two words and bring a new class. These two words they bring a new class. Scholarship which means totally different than the two word, words used to combine. You can refer some books like words, uh, Language Made Plain by Anthony Burgess, 1964 and Frank Palmer's Grammars and Grammars. If you have not subscribed till now, please do and hit the bell button. Then only you will get the updates.
If you like my effort, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Also explore our website www.miraclewebstore.com. Until I meet you next, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.